Welcome to part 5 of our Master Reporting Board online tutorials. In this part, we are going to print our extension certificate. After one has finished making applications, either of local or of foreign, in case they wanted to edit a product, they have already edited and wanted to create a new product, they have created a new product, they have an attachment. The next step now is to print certificates. Just like you have seen before in video number four, where we printed invoices, the process for printing certificates is the same. You go to the certificates and invoices link, then scroll down to the certificate section. This section, you select product. Remember in the invoices, we selected the MH. Here, we want a specific product. You select the product and show its certificate. Automatically, the system moves you to a new tab or new window, depending on the configuration of your browser, where it shows you the certificate. Now, the certificate has major features. Number one, it shows you the retention number of the product. Then it indicates its registration number 2016. Then it gives you a document serial number which is a number that is not random, but which is difficult to replicate. From there, we go now to the details of the, the certificate. There is a product registration number. There is a trade name of the product. There is the API and the manufacturer of the API. There is the strength here. There is the MH holder, the dosage form, pack size, registered shelf life, registered batch size, manufacturing size, and as usual, the local technical representative. Then at the bottom, we have the verification code that's visible to the public and to our inspectors. This code is generated and matches the code at the top here. Once you use this QR code using your mobile device, it should be able to give you the document of this certificate. And online, you can see this certificate when you log in. <clears throat> this certificate has some certain rules that are put here and should be produced anytime an inspector needs to see the same. In the next video, we are going to look at adding a new product or editing an existing one. Thank you.